Welcome back, folks. Today, we're going to create a glowing text effect. Now, I've seen this uh, effect elsewhere created with um, software like Photoshop, and we're going to create it using Canva today. So I'm going to start off by going to Elements, and I'm going to place a background on my workspace. I'm going to place this background on my workspace, and I'm just going to uh, resize it so that it fits on my workspace. I'm not going to set it as my background, but just um, position it on my workspace uh, so that um, it's kind of in the middle. Uh, I'm going to go to text and I'm using Anton font. And in here, in all caps, I'm going to type in light. I'm going to resize that. And I'm just going to try and make it fit right uh, in the perimeter of the street, sort of right there. And I'll leave it there. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a duplicate of this page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that background and I'm actually going to download this text. So I'll come on over here. I'll click download. I'm only downloading that first page. And I do want it as transparent and I'll click the download button. I'm now going to go back up to my first page and I'm going to remove this text box that we have here and I'm going to bring in that image that I created and I'm just going to resize it again so that it fits right in where I had it before. I'm going to go to my apps and I'm going to search for an app called Image Cutout. This is what it looks like right here. And there may be some terms and conditions you might have to agree to, but once you agree, it'll bring you right here. Now I'm going to select my image. So I'm just going to go back and I'm going to go to position because right now I've got my text selected as an image, right? We brought it back into Canva and it's now an image. I need to select the image behind my text. So I'm just going to move that image over and I'm going to grab the image behind and I'm going to say use selected image. So now we're using that selected image. And down here, we also have the option to uh, add some text. But the only problem with this is uh, I haven't really figured out how to change the font. So what I'm doing instead is just I'm uploading my text as an image into Canva and using that. So I'm going to select my image here, my text image, and I'm going to say use selected image. So here it is right here. And I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger. Remember, I want it to fit um, right in that space. So I'll just make it. Um, a little bit larger and I'll place it right there. Once you're satisfied with the placement of your text, come down here and select the purple button to add the design to your workspace. Again, I'm going to make a duplicate of this page and I'm going to get rid of a couple of things. I don't need this text anymore. So I'm just going to get rid of that text. And I'm going to resize this overlay to fit my workspace and I'm going to overlap it. So I'm going to come over to transparency. I'm going to make it a little bit transparent just so enough so that I can um, guide it to be right exactly on top. And I'm going to grab that image. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to come to adjust and I'm going to decrease the brightness of my top layer. This is my top layer. Okay. So here it is right here. 
I want to create a shadow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to an app called Typecraft. So I'm going to go over to my apps. I'm going to search for Typecraft. And because I used Anton, uh, Anton is also available as a font here. So I'm going to change the font to Anton. Here it is. And for the text, I'm going to again type in the word light. For the color, we can change it to any color um, we'd like. What I'll do is I'll change it to um, white, just so I can see kind of how that's going to look on the road here. But that isn't going to be my final um, color. So here, this is what the preview looks like um, before we add it. Now we can go ahead and add it and see where it's going to fit. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start by resetting that shape just because it makes it smaller. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this image. So I'm going to select the vertical option and I'm going to grab these circles and I'm just going to flip these around, uh, trying to carefully keep uh, the image as straight as possible. And I'm now going to change to the horizontal option. And I'm going to bring the, the edges all the way out and just try and keep them as even as possible. So I'm going to add this element to my workspace and see what it looks like. So here it is. Now this might take you a couple of attempts. So right now I can see that right here it's not so even. So I do need to adjust that. So I'm going to say no mirror and I'm going to come here and I'm just going to try and um, make that, bring that circle down a little bit like that. I'll update it to see what that looks like. It does look a little bit better, but I'm still not happy with it. So let me see if I can just adjust that a little bit. Okay, that is looking a little bit better. Now, the other thing that I want to do is I don't want it to be so long. I want to make it a little bit shorter. So, and I want it to come out a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the horizontal option and I'm actually going to just um, see if I can make it um, wider and a little bit shorter like that. So that is what it's looking like now. And I like that because it kind of aligns with the street. Um, so I'm actually quite happy with that. And again, you, it might take you a couple of tries to figure that out. So I'm going to uh, leave that the way it is. I am finished with that. So I'm just going to click outside and I'm going to grab this element. I'm going to right click and I'm going to download this selection. And I want it to be transparent and I will uh, download that selection. Now, before we move on to the next section, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use some guides to tell me where that image is sitting because I won't be able to see this word light. So I'm just creating some guides to help me figure out where to place this text. And I'll bring a couple down here as well. So now I know that it starts here and it ends here and the same on this side over here. I'm now going to duplicate this page. And I don't need this Typecraft text anymore. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to go over to my apps section 
and I'm going to search for an app called Clipping Mask. This is what it looks like right here. Like any app that you're opening up for the first time, it's going to tell you what it has access to, what it can read, and what it has permission to change. Once you've read it, once you're OK, click the purple button, and now we'll be able to start masking. Before I do, though, I need to get that bottom layer. So I'm going to click on my design. I'm going to go to position. I'm going to go to layers and I'm going to access that bottom layer. I'm going to close this and I'm going to click on the purple button to start masking. Now you'll remember that I created my text. I downloaded it and I brought it back into Canva as an image. So we're going to use that image to create that mask or to mask the background onto that text. The reason I didn't use text, the text option here is because there aren't any font options um, for the text. And so I'm just going to use the image option. Plus, I was able to do that perspective. So I'm going to click choose file and I'm going to grab that image that I downloaded. Here it is right here. And now I can use my guides to create that skewing effect that I need for my shadow. And you'll remember these are the lines of where it needs to extend to. So here it is right here. I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm going to say add to design. OK, so here it is right here. And I'm just going to make that larger and just try and line it up with that line in the center of the road. And that's pretty much it. Now, if we wanted to, we could grab that top layer. We could go to edit. We could go to duotone and we can apply um, a little bit of, um, you know, different color profiles to it just to make it look a little bit different. Um, that uh, duotone effect is being applied to that very top layer, leaving the bottom layer um, original. And one last tip for you is when you're doing this effect, grab your um, shadow and just move it up as far up as possible just to create that um, continuation of that glow uh, and rays just popping through. And um, anyhow, I'd love to know what you think about this effect. Uh, let me know in the comments. Did you like this tutorial? Uh, maybe you didn't like it. I don't know. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys, uh, whether it's good, whether it's bad. If you learn anything, press that thumbs up button, subscribe and turn your notification bells on. If you want to hear more about my live sessions, let me know and I'll give you more information. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye bye until next time.